the ancient Egyptian deity Ammonius and their role within ancient beliefs. It mentions Ammonius as an eternal deity who wasn't widely worshipped among various local deities spread across different regions. Additionally, it refers to Ammonius as a creator god within the doctrine of the city of Ashmenian as a member of the Daman within that society. It also suggests that originally, the god was men. According to ancient beliefs, Ammonius was a significant deity in various periods of ancient Egyptian history. He was associated with air and winds and held a vital role in religious beliefs and concepts. His concept and significance evolved over time, sometimes being merged with other gods, and his image and status in Egyptian beliefs changed over time. Regarding the reference to the god Men potentially being the origin of the god Ammonius, this represents part of the theories and hypotheses attempting to connect Egyptian gods with each other or find their common origins. Ancient religions often had similarities and influences, making finding connections between gods a common practice in the study of ancient religions and beliefs. The city of Ashmanan as a member of its high-ranking members. I refer to him as originally the god of Maine, this great god who worshipped in that area which lies between Akim and Kaftis, and between Tebe and Armin. This god represents standing up and his penis erect and on his head rising two high feathers, lifting his right arm and gripping the triangular whip branches, and was considered the fertilizer who steals women, the master of virgins. If this god had fertilized his mother, this trait was originally distinguished by the sun god Ra. thus we find constantly how the gods in Egypt are characterized by the qualities of each other and how one affects the characteristics of the other. This great god has retained the status of national god for centuries, but Amon did not receive that fame except from the middle state or shortly before it was mentioned in the texts of the king alternated third one of the eleventh kings of the family. Since the twelfth family began the Amon the reputation of his first city, Thebes, which was once associated with the god of Mento, the good old god of war, who was the kings of the eleventh family named after him and carried the Jihad Brigade in order to achieve the second unit of the country under his banner, and their victory marked the beginning of a new era in which Manto was tomorrow, god of war, the supreme god in the country. For an unclear reason, with the beginning of the twelfth family, the god Amon became the supreme god in the country, beginning in the age of King Imtiadai, the founder of the twelfth family. The texts link the city of Thebes to its original idol Ammonius, where the texts described him as the lord and master of the city, and the whole world described the city as a city god Amon. During the Middle State era it is clear that Amon, he was giving the ruling pharaoh life and stability above the throne, and therefore his work was only about this role and his tasks were not great towards the state and pharaoh such a role found in the era of the modern state. He was nicknamed in the temple of Karnak Iman NB NSWT T3 way in the sense of Ammonius master of the thrones of the earth. He was considered to have been chosen, the god Ammonius, and his wife Amunt or Death in particular. Among the Eshmunites of good origin, these two spouses appeared among the other elements of creation in the Good Doctrine, while the remaining members were only sacred bodies, the fame of Ammon did not reach the end of the ancient Egyptian times, and through the Good Doctrine about the city of Ammonius selected with poetic expressions that linked the idol Ammonius and Ra in his image and bodies, Thebes was considered Ein Ra, which came out of the eternal ocean N and then created humans and the remaining sites around it and north and south, and the surrounding world as the creation of Amon himself and then a mortal of himself, humans. He also considered Amon the driving force of the world of the ocean, and has been characterized by very characteristics of uniqueness and excellence, is the super ability to create and its prominent role in the process of birth and permanent life is R.A., the same one that the worlds illuminate without ever letting go. The God, Amon, and the Mun al the territory of the Ashmonians is called Bono, or Uno, and Nut, N-H, in the sense of the territory of the Rabbit, which is the 15th region, guessed, from the provinces of Upper Egypt and extends about 48 miles east and west of the Nile between Sheikh Tamai and Sheikh Abada east of the river, and between Abu Karkas and the village of Ba'at present on the edge of the desert west of Dairat and west of the river was the capital of the region, current Ashmounan, at a distance of 10 kilometers northwest of Malva, 45 kilometers south of Minya, 310 kilometers south of Cairo, which in the Egyptian language means, humano, or, common, in the sense of the city of eight. 
which is the origin of the name in Coptic, Shmenu, or Simon, as it is also called in the ancient Egyptian language, Br. Jawadi, any idol's place of worship, my Jahat, is its main idol and also its religious name, while its civil name is, and not. The Achmonians have been an important religious center since the dawn of history, and have played an important role in the development of the ancient Egyptian religion, where the second school arose from the schools of the early creation of the creation in Egypt, schools, Ein Shams, Ashmenite, MNF. The religious or Achimunian theory is consistent with the theory of Ein Shams or the enlargement that the world was a water ocean called Non, but different from it in the God of the Sun, here he did not create himself, but descended from Thamen, a four spouse. Frog-shaped life that created his eggs and placed them above high on the surface of non-Hermopolis, from this egg came out the sun, this doctrine ends in the sun but does not begin with it and the sun is born in Harmopolis, and not in Heliopolis, hence the dominion must be entitled Harmopolis, and is not entitled Heliopolis. Perhaps it is of the utmost importance that there goes to that idol, Amon, it was his original home in the Achmonians and it was the kings of the 11th and 12th families who brought him to the good, currently the shortest, and then took his fame spread until he overshadowed all the Egyptian idols however, there is another face to look at that we do not have any clear evidence of the existence of, Ammon, in the territory of, Kmino, Ashmunians, except on the days of the 19th and 26th families, while there is support for his presence in Thebes since the eleventh family, but always goes to that of Amon, it is mentioned in Thebes for the first time in trace dating back to the reign of King Bbi of the sixth family. The theory of the genesis of the parasympathetic universe, model of composition. Was the great god of Thebes a full-fledged member of the Amon, whatever its origin? The connection between the Karnak god and his name in the Ashmanites was tempting. And the glories of, Amon, and greatness would not return to the origins of Egyptian history and the entity mentioned by this name in the M town of the pyramids, only three times, is undoubtedly the principle associated with the Amon and not with the master of Egypt later, a good god only saw his start from the twelfth family when he dominated the Egyptian Rubab complex. The theory of the genesis of the parasympathetic universe was built from the contributions of Ashmaninism and elementary elements, although this theological system has undoubtedly been formulated since the era of the modern state it has only been clearly introduced in the Greco-Roman eras and the predecessor entities, embodiments of Amonai, which took its final shape at the origin of the world. As for the text of the theory of Pharaoh, that a serpent appeared in the neon at the beginning of time and grew up in Thebes where the first mute emerged and began this serpent named, KMATF, and its literal meaning, which completed its time, the process of creation and when his, time ended, he left his place to, Arto, I, who made the earth, by extracting it from his own essence and then he entered, KMF, into a deep slumber and rested where he originally grew up, the tomb of the dead gods was. Thus opened in Thebes in the Bull Jami, now known as Hapu City. And Akf Arto, he is also in the form of a serpent on the creation of the universe and gave birth to the earth, of course, and with it also the members of the octagon, and these swam even the Achaemenids where they gave birth to the sun, and then reached the men, and the on, where they gave birth, Ta, and Adam, and that intervention in Egyptian religious systems allows the old subjugation of the great gods to Amon. Having completed the 80s of their mission they returned to Thebes and exhausted their forces. Joining both, how many have come, and, Arto, in their deep slumber under the, Jamie, at that site, a cult of the early forms of Ammonius was erected, which crossed the Nile every ten days to symbolically preserve the life of his, latent ancestors. Another saw. The school of Ashmianite is considered to be the graduation of the school of Manth because the first beings in it is, Tatnan, the creator of the eighth gods, and the creator of the egg from which the sun god came out. He is the grandfather of all gods, the eight gods were gods representing four males in the form of frogs, and four females in the form of lives each pair represents one of the manifestations that prevailed in the world at the beginning, the first pair is Nan and Nanette and represents the infinite void. And the second husband is Ho and Huhit, he represents eternal water. The third husband is Cook and Coquette and represents darkness, while the fourth husband is Ammon and Amont and he represents invisibility. The merger of Amon and R.A. Colon. With the twelfth family Amon gained great importance in the province, we wonder where this importance came from. 
God was immersed in the little Thebes at the end of the old state we can see this from what was mentioned in the ancient texts of the pyramids, it is worth considering that since that distant age his name has been exchanged in a different form with the name of the god Cut, Min even at the beginning of the Middle Kingdom, the distinction between Ammonius and Min becomes the first resting temple of Sinusrid and Karnak. Although the inscriptions often borrow the image of the man god, his name does not appear at all, and God is called upon. Permanence Ammon or Amon Ra, this last name refers to the occurrence of mixing since the end of the old state, and in fact one reads on the back of a small statue of solid stone found in Karnak. The names of the king by I followed by a male, loved by Amon Ra, master of his kind, and it is possible that the king has also wanted to take for himself the genealogy of the gods of Upper Egypt has intended to liken Amon to his father Ra, the process would have been more accessible since the name of God corresponded to the Egyptian origin Im in the sense of invisibility, and this hidden god could have manifested itself in many forms and in the form of Ra in particular or the form of men, and in any case we are ignorant of the first meaning of his name and was met by the barbaric Libyan phrase safe Amon in the sense of water, but this is just a sound analogy, and this approximation can strengthen the association of one of the animals Amon Holy, which is the ram with fertility in the desert, it seems to be a fact that the theologians of Thebes have revealed a remarkable ability in theorizing. They have been able to fully exploit the characteristic that his name is invisibility they identified his identity as the greatest god capable in the collective of the Egyptian god and reported from the ideas of Imropolis Ashmunis. About the creation of the world, since he is one of the eight members of the gods in Imropolis, he had the same name they had made his Aliha. This good trinity is characterized by its ability to clearly combine the three main elements of the Sarmidian creation around Amon. The master of Karnak since the days of the middle state has been associated with divine forms related to the sun and fertility, he presents himself simultaneously as Amon Ra, impersonating the rights of the creator god in Amon, and like Kamot F, the bull of his mother, he has described Amon, the image of the ram and associated with Ari, the king, Amon Ra, eternal god, creator, creator of god and man, and perhaps his association with Ra made him a major deity where he was shepherd, the supreme god since the beginning of ancient Egyptian historical times, his integration with any god made him a great thing and is considered a tribute to this idol. And to put the qualities of the new god merged with Ra into practice the other world, the qualities of the Ra moved to Amon so he became a shepherd of kings in the land. It was incumbent upon those kings to return the favor to that supreme idol, and they paid tribute to his name the huge temples and luxurious abattoirs with which the supreme idol of the country was sanctified, Amon and the Good Third. Although the idol, Amon, was one of the holy pagan Akmonians, and was considered an eternal deity, this did not prevent him from being associated with the style of all local deities.